Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mr. Zurius and wait a minute, this isn't Minecraft. Why is he on Google, you are asking? So the reason why I'm on Google today is I'm going to be looking up some buildings for inspiration for some Minecraft builds because I want to join the WBC build server where they build sort of 1910s, 1920s style buildings in creative mode and have so far built a very, very impressive town. So I've been speaking to the owner on Discord and here's what I need to look for. So I asked him, what type of buildings do I need to build for my portfolio for the server? And he says, hey, so it's anything to do with Georgian, Victorian and Edwardian styles from the UK. Now I don't know about any of you guys, but that doesn't really make much sense to me, so I thought, why not Google it? Long story short, I spent about 25 minutes looking into this, and it turns out they're all pretty much the same. Right, so here we are on the Omnicraft server. It's not actually the real Omnicraft server though, this is one that I keep locally just so that I can build things and test things and such. So the building we're going to be working with on screen now is this one. So I don't know if this is Edwardian, Georgian, Victorian, I don't know, it's, it's one of them, I guess, and I quite like it. So I've put together a bunch of blocks here that I think we might be using. We've got some stone, polished andesite, mossy bricks, normal bricks, some nether bricks, normal bricks, dark prismarine, various bits of concrete and quartz. Now the problem is, is that clearly the building has a black roof and Minecraft does not have any default stairs or slabs that are black. So I'm going to try the nether brick here or potentially the dark prismarine. So we'll see how that works. But probably the main thing that I'm going to be working with will be these bricks and these stone bricks. So I'm going to get a foundation laid out and then we'll see how we can get on from there. I have no idea what I'm doing. See the problems with these sorts of things is the fact that these buildings have lots and lots of tiny details, especially around the windows and the doors and such. So I don't know if this sort of design is going to work. Oh, that looks terrible. Right, so I jumped on the WBC server for a hot minute there just to see the pros and see how they do it. And I'm going to tear this whole thing down and try some new things. I'm going to try working in some polished diorite to see how this looks. I'm starting with the windows because those tend to be the most difficult part and they're also probably the smallest part of the build, or at least the most detailed part. So if I can nail down a design of that, that will really help. Right, okay, see we have a problem here already. The glass panes do not go towards the walls. Let's try and fix that. So already I'm starting to see this come into a nicer light than before. So let's try putting the glass panes in now that we've got a backing wall here to support them. Hmm. It's getting there but it's missing something. Okay, the smaller window definitely looks a bit better. But I just feel like there's something missing. I don't know if it's because there's so much detail in the picture that I'm just trying too hard to put detail that Minecraft can't handle. Okay, that is definitely an improvement. It's not entirely the same design as what we've got here in the picture, as the picture is much more straight. But I really like this, so I think I'm going to go with it, unless I can think of some other improvements in the meantime. Okay, I'm starting to see this thing really come together now. I'm really trying to think of some sort of design I can do to get those sort of flower boxes here. But, you know, the conventional ones are just... Like, hold on, let's, let's grab some dark. Uh, grab some dark and uh, dark oak. Let's go for dark oak trapdoor. So if I just grab these. So obviously I can't have it sticking out like this because it's just far, far too much. It's just, it's really, really far out there. Um, you know, what if I just do this? What if I just take these away entirely and then do this? Hmm. It's definitely an idea, but... I just don't feel that it fits, to be honest with you. If we go back to the original design here, with the stairs. Yeah, that's just so much better. So I'm going to keep working on this and we'll see how it looks when I've got more of a building. It's strange how my opinion of this keeps going from terrible to amazing to what the hell is this? Now I just don't like it. I feel like there's too much space between these windows. I could maybe take out a row and a column here in the middle and shrink it down a bit. Yeah, that seems like a good idea, let's try that. And instantly, as if by magic, it looks so much better just by removing some of that space. Great, okay, so that's one side of the front, kind of done. Um, now I'm going to work on that middle part with the, the curved outward window. I, I, I'm assuming there's probably a specific name for that thing, I, I don't know what it is. I googled it, it's called the bay window. You know, I never really used diorite, but it's pretty damn nice. 
at, at least in this form anyway, like the polished stuff in the walls. I'm surprised there isn't polished walls for the diorite, it seems like such a simple thing to not include. So how do I do curved glass? Because it's not really an easy thing to do in Minecraft. So that works with having them all connected, but obviously we need to have some sort of... Yeah, see it doesn't attach to the walls, so that's a bit of an issue. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right, so we've got an outward curve, which looks okay-ish. Hold on, let's, let's do the same thing we did over here. Grab some stairs. Do we want it that way? Mm, probably not. Right, okay, yeah, that looks a bit better. But the problem is, is how do we separate the window? Because if I put stuff here... Oh, no, wait, it doesn't attach to the glass, of course, so that's perfect. So I can just put that there, put that there. And... Mm, it's nearly there, it's just... It's not quite there yet. Okay, I think that's looking quite good for now. Now, what's the best thing for the design here in the middle? You know what I could try? Hold on, so, uh, what's it called? And we do have this black and red glazed terracotta. Uh, a grey terracotta. Uh, let's, let's put some of these down and see how they look. So this is the grey, and this is the black. So that's the grey terracotta there. I'm going to be honest, I actually really, really like that design. I've never really used glazed terracotta before, but when you stand back and look at it, it kind of looks like a marble design. I feel like I'm going to be using this in the future. So that's with the black concrete powder instead, which I feel does actually fit the design more than the terracotta. You know what, I'm going to leave the terracotta for now, and we'll come back to it later once more of the building is complete. Okay, look at this. You can't tell me that that does not look like the picture. Like, maybe if I go like really far back, let's see if I go far back here, and then if I go, let's say, right here, Yep, just about. Yep, there we go. There! See? Doesn't that look like the picture? <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm really enjoying this and I think it does look quite good. So, what I need to do is I need to get a door down here and then see if I can do the front of the roof. And then after that, it's just doing the sides and the back, I guess. Which now occurs to me, I do actually have pictures of those, so I have no idea what it looks like. What do you mean the scale is off? The scale is absolutely fine. Look, here's the doors right here to lead to nothing and then the windows are absolutely huge. I just had an excellent idea for the trimming up here. Put some carpet up here. Ah oh, that's perfect! That's exactly what I needed. Yay I'm really happy with that. You know I have to say this is coming together really well now. So let's move on to the roof. Okay so the nether brick. I do like it. I do like it. Let's do some dark prismarine. Oh, I love the colour of this always, every time. Ooh, I really like that too! Oh, I might be in for a bit of a problem here. Okay, yeah, I like all of them. That's a problem. You know, what I'll do is I'll add the windows in first, and then I'll just build a roof, and then choose one of the materials, and if I don't like it, I can just use World Edit to replace it and keep testing it until I see one that I like. And there we have it! The front of the building is complete! Aside from being absolutely bloody huge, I love it! I'm so happy with how this is turning out and the, the palette and the block choices and the shapes, the depth to it all, I'm just really really happy with it. Okay, so obviously I need to finish this thing because if we run around the back here, it's, um, it's kind of like a, a Hollywood um, film set where it's just the front of a building. So I'm going to jump into a quick time lapse, we'll get this finished and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, I don't know what happened, I lost the footage, something went wrong with the replay mod, it's gone. So we're just going to jump straight to the finished article. And there we have it everyone, we've got a full building. It may just be a totally blank side on both sides here and a copy and paste off the front here, but it still looks good. So I'm thinking I have one more idea what to do with this place before finishing the video. And that is to miniaturise it. Right, so here we have the original building, the one you just saw me build barely fits on my screen, it's that huge, but still looks awesome. Fly back down here, and I successfully miniaturised it. I say miniaturised it, it's more like I cut the fat out so it's more of an actual building size I suppose. I mean this one looks like it's a building for Minecraft players if they were double the size that they are, whereas this one, I mean you can see, look at the size difference in these two, look. 
it doesn't look like much, but it, it is, trust me. Let's get an overview shot here. When, see, when you see the roof and how high it goes compared to the, the other one. So look at the details here, so that we've got two double doors, or one double door with lots of trapdoors above it. Double length windows and double width. And here we have single length and just two blocks high. The door, I mean look at look how small this door is now by comparison. We've got the door and one trapdoor. Whereas over here we've got two doors and eight trapdoors. Or six. I can't count. Now I'm not saying that the smaller one is better, but I think if you're actually going to be building this actually in Minecraft without using Creative or Raw to edit, this would probably be the one I would go for. But still, it's really cool to see these come together. And let me just put up the reference picture here for you again so you can see where we all started. So I think you guys will agree that this has been a pretty successful build. I really hope you guys actually enjoyed this video, though I know it's very different from what I've been doing before. If you would like to see more of this sort of thing, please let me know. I would definitely like to make more videos on this because I had a ton of fun. So before I finish up for the episode, I'm going to add a little bit more detail and then we'll have a quick fly around and show this thing off. So a strange thing happened with the replay mod and basically the whole thing got corrupted and I thought it was just too weird not to show you guys. So uh, here, let me know what you think of this. So here's what it was actually supposed to look like. No matter what I did, I could not fix that replay. I must have exported that about four or five times and everything was the exact same. Regardless, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, you enjoyed this build. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. And if you want to see more videos from me, consider subscribing. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.